o'clock, 15 and just gone through 14, which is this top lock here. So that's it, locks for a little while. Uh, there's seven locks in the, the total flight and I think there's a rise of about 17 metres it brings you up from the bot bottom lock um, up to this lock. And then you go head north on the Grand Union through the Blissworth Tunnel, Whee, can't wait. And uh, this is one of the busiest places on the network in the summertime. But more importantly, behind me there is the Boat Inn. And that pub has been in the same family since 1877. So that's crazy. Uh, you can imagine the characters that's been in there over the years. There's our boat just up there, just filling up with water. We've been down in the long pond below the last week over Christmas. We've managed to make a whole tank of water last us eight days, which is uh, which is good for us. Hoping to go into the museum which is just over there, but it's all closed. So never mind, maybe another day. Yeah, so just gonna slowly go past all these moored boats and hopefully um, there's gonna be a mooring point uh, just up here. So we're still within walking distance of the pub. So hopefully a little bit later, I'll be able to go in search of a right nice pint. Right, I'm now off to the bedroom to get changed because where are we going tonight? Out, out. We're going out, out, <laughs> yeah. So I'm well chuffed because I actually get to put my brogues on because whenever we've been near a pub, we've always been on a muddy towpath and we're just past the top lock at Stoke Bruin. So we're going to walk down to the boat inn and the toll path outside is tarmac. Yay. So I can put me brogues on. Yay. Right, and they're gonna get changed. Well, that was a quick costume change, so we're all ready to go out. Uh, I'm gonna show you my shoes. No. Out, out. Oh, sorry, out, out. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't do a lot of going out, out. It's mostly just going out since we've been living on a boat, but I'm not complaining. Right, so got me brogues on. First time in months I've wore these bad boys. So hopefully I don't slip over in them. So. There. there is our destination. The boat in. And I've lost my wife. Well, here we go. Hopefully we're gonna find the right nice point. I'm sure we will. No way to go. Right, here we go, Nick. This one's for you. Got myself a pint of uh, Boondoggle. I think it's Boondoggle. Yeah, by the Ringwood Brewery. 4.2%. Oh, that's smooth. Yeah, fruity. I've tasted this before, but I can't think what I can compare it to. No, oh, that's that's a right nice pint. Yeah, very nice. On pint number two, this one's from the Jennings Brewery, Cumberland Ale. Only four percent. Yeah, this is always the worst thing when you've had a really nice pint. And you go on to pint number two, which is really a nice pint, but you compare it to pint number one, which... I'm gonna to have to come back to this one. You are drinking a Cumberland Golden Lakeland Ale, 4%, and it is superbly refreshing, brewed with pure, Pure Lakeland water. Well, Happy New Year, everyone. It's the 1st of January. Um, by the time you see this, it'll probably be the summer solstice, the rate I get my videos out. But uh, we just had a nice Christmas and New Year at Stoke Bruin. We're now heading that away <coughs> at 50 yards from the uh, Blissworth Tunnel. Gonna go through there, get to Gaten Junction, just more up for the night 
Man, we've already we've got the car with us at the moment because um, I want it after Christmas uh, to be able to run backwards and forwards to wholesalers and some bits and pieces I'm going to be doing on the boat. Yeah, so yesterday we took the car to um, Gate and Junction and left that there overnight in a little car park so that will be there ready for us um, when we get there today and fill up with water and uh, as I say just spend the night there and then move on need to get through which we've got plenty of time need to get through the Buckby locks by the 7th because uh, they're closing for six or seven weeks for maintenance and then once we're through there it's just back up to Crick we're getting at Crick Marina for a week uh, to carry out some uh, small improvements on the boat which I'll be showing you in detail bit is I've had the car with me so um, we've been at over Christmas as you know we've been at um, Stoke Bruin and yesterday we moved up from Stoke Bruin to Gate and Junction so we took the car from Stoke Bruin to Gate and Junction and it left it there last night so this morning I had to bike back uh, six and a half miles to Gate and Junction but then also then put the bike in the car and took the car all the way to Wilton Marina and then bike back from Wilton Marina another six and a half miles well uh, it's been a long while since I've biked and obviously I'm a little bit heavier than I last bike so I've done 12 miles in the cold unprepared and where there was skin there isn't skin so it's a little, <laughs> little bit uncomfortable when I sit down at the moment but Hey ho, it's only only temporary. Um, I'm sure Deb will find some powder or ointment to uh, soothe my discomfort. We're now going to go up through the Buckby flight of locks. So Deb's just gone up ahead to uh, set the first lock. Um, follow us on through, and we'll see you at the top. Debbie. We're actually, what are we doing? We're going to, what do they call this? Dismantling? No, Dismantling? no, no dis assemble. Assembling. Our Christmas our present. Christmas present from our daughter. Yeah, one of our daughters, Katie, bought us a, a trolley. Yeah, so here's our shopping trolley. We're now going to fill it. It is well and truly loaded. Yeah, okay. I ain't got the energy. Yeah. All I can say is, Katie, thank you so, so much. Yeah, so we'd have been in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> that would have been three or four, because we've probably got, I don't know, a quarter of a mile walk to the boat. Where are we, Deb? We are at Watford Locks. We've just walked from Crick. Um, and we're on our way back to Norton Junction after dropping the car off. Yeah, so we'll be coming up <laughs> through here tomorrow yep. um, to spend a few days at Crick while I install my solar yep. and upgrade me wiring on my batteries. Yay.
much, chaps. That's all right. We'll see you again sometime. Yep. Well, that's Watford Lock's done. Uh, big thanks to the uh, volunteer lock keepers. One even knew what the boat name was. Obviously, he's very fluent in Latvian. Uh, see behind us there, just gone under the M1. A little bit of traffic noise. And we're just um, coming up now to the Crick Tunnel. Now gonna enter the Crick Tunnel. And I can see the other end. And this looks decisively shorter than the Blissworth Tunnel. Now, as much as I still don't like the experience of going through the tunnels, um, this doesn't seem as daunting as the first time I come through here. So. Yeah, so hopefully we won't meet anything coming through here. Well, the end is in sight. Oops, nearly not, nearly lost the camera. Yeah, we're now coming up to Crick Marina and it's a, it's a strange feeling. It's like, it feels like coming home. Um, it was nine weeks ago we left here um, after buying the boat from A, B and B at Crick we spent our first two weeks in the marina in the safety of the marina and we're coming back here to um, just get on hook up for a week because uh, there's some uh, upgrades I want to do uh, mainly the main 12 volt linkages on the battery put new batteries on leisure batteries and install solar yeah, and it just, just feels like we're coming home. Nice feeling. Now coming into the tight little turn in that is the marina entrance. So now after my eight weeks of uh, experience, let's see if I can nail this in one. Bingo. Yeah, please with that straight in. <laughs> 